this is exactly why I need a TV show. This is exactly why. Because I just remembered the other aspect of love. And I'm probably going to come back with some more, y'all, because I can't help myself. What about, that's your nigga, that's my man, that's my man, that's my man, that's my man. That's my man, that's my man, that's my man. That's love, right, on a sexual level. So if someone that is not your man partner or someone that I'm, I'm my wife's partner, but someone else is saying to my partner or someone else is saying to your partner that they love them and it's like another woman or another man and it's your girlfriend or whatever the case may be, we know we can love people without it meaning sexual. If I drop some heart emojis and I say I love you, nigga, I don't know you like that, you think I want to freak on you? That's not the type of love I was offering on the menu, okay? Y'all better love that chick from Popeye's from somewhere else, baby. That's not the type of love that I'm giving. So now we have tapped into another perception of love. So my perception of love is almost like if you think about a child. A child is naive. They don't see man in a sexual manner. They don't see, oh, I'm looking at this woman because I'm a lesbian. I'm looking at her in that aspect. I'm looking at her as this is my sister and this is my brother. And we are soul family because we all came from the same creator. So when I'm outside and I see a family at the bus stop, I love that family. I see her child has all her little fingers and toes and she can bounce and move on her knees and her legs are working and she's healthy in her body. And I say, Thank you, God, for this family. Oh, my God, I love them. I don't see her like, oh, we she looking good like that. Oh, look at her body. I'm not seeing it as that aspect of love. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I have love for you, happiness for you, joy for you. Life and breath is in your body. You win.